Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Showtime. It's showtime. It's showtime. Showtime. Round up the usual suspects. We take them really seriously. Nice. Serious. You talking to me? I will tell you God's truth about myself. I am the son of very wealthy people. Sadly, they're all dead now. I lived in all the capitals of Europe collecting jewels and came the world sport. Could it all be true? Gatsby. He had an extraordinary sense of hope, but I had the uneasy feeling that he was guarding secrets. Gatsby? What Gatsby? I'm certainly glad to see you again. So happy together. I'm certainly glad to see you as well. You can't repeat the past. Why, of course you can. Welcome back to the vent, old sport. That's probably something Gatsby would say if he was on our show. This week, the vent travels back to the roaring 1920s through the pages of F. Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby, brought to life on screen by none other than director Baz Luhrmann. Who is this Gatsby? Do you know him? War hero. Mr. Gatsby doesn't exist. Gatsby? What Gatsby? So Baz Luhrmann. Romeo and Juliet, Moulin Rouge, and Australia. Personally, I love Moulin Rouge. Great love story, great music, great acting from Nicole Kidman and Ewan McGregor. Didn't know they could sing like that. Uh, what does he offer us here with The Great Gatsby? Pretty much a visual spectacle as usual, but on a much grander scale. The parties were bigger. The morals were looser and the liquor was cheaper. So for those of you who don't know, this is the second film made from F. Scott Fitzgerald's book. The first film made back in 1974 starring Robert Redford. And what I really love about novels is that they have character development and character depth. And this can usually aid a film in connecting with an audience and taking them on an emotional journey. And for a movie like The Great Gatsby, I had high expectations in this department. But for some reason, Opez! Opez decided to give us lavish, beautiful shots of party scenes, fireworks, explosions, and people dancing. That's what he gave us for the first 30 minutes. Yes, I was dazzled, but I was thinking to myself, where are the characters? That's generally the case with Baz Luhrmann. He's a very visual director. He likes his stylization and sometimes he does indulge a little bit too much with the style and no substance. But I will forgive him because I am a big fan of period pieces. I like being transported to a different time. New York, 1922. The tempo of the city had changed sharply. The buildings were higher. So you've seen the trailer. Yes, that was Jay-Z and Kanye West on the soundtrack in a movie set in the 1920s. I should be happy because I like the artist and I love their album. But unfortunately, it just doesn't sit well with me in this film at certain parts. I just felt like it was a little bit too forced and it did remove me from the 1920s era. Another aspect of the film that I disliked, I've already mentioned this, it's the lack of focus on character development. I feel like due to that first 30 minutes that I mentioned earlier, characters and the performers are given less time to shine. And some additional characters that are introduced are not developed. So at the end of the movie, I, I was sitting there asking myself, what was the purpose of that character being introduced if they're not going to affect the plot? I don't know. But there is a lot that I really liked about this film. I did mention that Baz is a visual genius when it comes to filmmaking 
and his use of shots and CGI is amazing. Set design, costume, amazing. When I made the pleasure of Mr. Gatsby's acquaintance, I discovered a man of fine breathing. Very interesting. Everything all right? Oh, yes. My favorite, favorite thing about this film is Leo's performance as Gatsby. I feel like he took this film from an average film to a good film. I know he's been around for a while and I know he's a big star but I, I feel like I never really gave him the respect that he deserves and with this film I will give him that love because he was really really amazing as Gatsby. He really captured the, the youthful, charming, bizarre quirkiness uh, of Gatsby and he took us through an emotional roller coaster throughout the movie. So with everything said I'm gonna give this one a 7 out of 10. Yes, it's a visual spectacle without any real substance, but it's fun and it's good entertainment and it really captures the 1920s lifestyle really well. If you've read the book, you'll probably feel a bit cheated at the end, like you might feel that some of the characters weren't developed enough or didn't really go in depth enough. I don't know. I'm not going to judge. You watch it. You tell us what you think. Enjoy. Old sport.